What's good guys, Ayo Richie, I'm back with another YouTube video. I'm going a bit ham with the content and to be honest, I'm just getting myself ready for Tekken 8. We've had a lot of stuff drop, so I'm really in the mood to bring you guys some content. So I just wanted to, well Leo's not exactly related to Tekken 8, but I just wanted to give some more, you know, information to the Leo players out there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so in this video, what I wanted to talk about was Leo's forward four, um, an approach that you, sh you should have offensively when using it, how you can use it to kind of um, create a very hard read on your opponent. So for instance, if I'm doing forward fours and my opponent replies with like a down jab, so in this situation, if my opponent does a down jab on forward four, If I can cancel the stance properly, I can actually do a low parry afterwards. So I'm gonna do that now. Bear with me, I got a new D-pad so my controller's a bit scuffed, but yeah, so my opponent does a down jab, they get low parried. And also, I can do this to call out down jabs as well. But if I want a safer way of doing that, because you gotta think forward four is a plus nine on block knee. So, do I really want to be pressing after it? So, yeah, I mean, going for a down jab will shut down some options, but loses to the hop kick, and the low parry is just to kind of just do a quick one and then block again. And if you get the low parry, cool, full reward. And if you don't, you just go back to blocking. And your opponent is still sat behind, you know, forward four, which is plus. So they have to respect it for the most part. But those that don't, I mean, low parry is an option. The freeze is an option, but of course you can, you know, sidestep left and stuff. And that's why I say it's less risk to go for the low parry and then block. In this situation, this could literally steal a game from the opponent because they're thinking, they might not even know. They might not even know that, you know, you can cancel and then low parry in time. So, yeah, this is a very strong tool to add to your offense as Leo. And it makes forward four all the more scary. So there's that, and there's also mental frames into forward four, count it, K and K2, hit confirm. So you may realize that on forward four, you can delay the K and K2 quite a lot on counter hit, but there's quite a bit of time. It's very difficult to just kind of do in the open, but if you do it after like, let's say a hesitation move, like, okay, so, up forward two and the reason that you know I'm hesitating is because up forward two one if I press on it I get counter hit into a lot of damage so when a Leo player does up forward two you kind of have to respect it so when you're waiting for it I can now go for forward four and if I press late it's because I'm seeing my opponent not go for the follow-up then I'm gonna get counter hit and you can kind of conf situation confirm it so yeah it's kind of like a twitch but yeah very important definitely worth practicing and you can do it from a, a couple of moves I'd say the main ones to go for is to be honest anything that has hesitation behind it so it can be down forward one it can be up forward two it can be down back one plus two down four basically things like that and also Leo's forward four does crush some characters jabs I'm gonna link a video in the description, well, not in the description, but there'll be a video that comes up so you can check out the video that I'm on about and you'll see what I mean about forward force crushing. So yeah, very strong. Um, makes forward four a lot more effective as a Leo player. And it's a move that you have to use because honestly, it's just too good. Like you have back one four, which obviously goes into forward four, but this is a bit more on the riskier side. So if you want to solidify your gameplay and not have counter play to a string, then yeah, adding forward four instead of back one four is a very good tool. Other than that, those are the only things I'd say you should look at when, you know, changing up your options for forward four. The forward four hit confirm is it's very rewarding. If you can do this, then 
you no longer have to kind of just throw out forward 4k and k2 and your opponent just does something random like they might duck launch i don't know they might even parry like so yeah being able to confirm that is very important it's tough but it's worth practicing after these situations it becomes more realistic so yeah down by one plus two forward four maybe even qcf2 because qcf2 one can still work so yeah forward four k and k2 it's a very strong tool can't hit properly this is a this was a change from season four i believe so yes yeah, it's, it's good to really try and adapt to the new layout that we have while we still have it because Tekken 8 is on the way but yeah forward 4 is a very good tool and I recommend using that over back over back 1 4 as much because you might just run to an opponent that you know sidesteps the back 1 4 and then free launch pretty much so yeah or they just go for an option like that So yeah, forward four, as much as it has a million options, sometimes it's best to just do the safer stuff and still get reward for it. So yeah, important move and definitely one of Leo's best moves. That's been the video. I'm going to talk about other moves further down the line that I feel people need to, you know, use more. So stay tuned for more content on the way. Please like, subscribe and peace. Yeah.